Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick from Part-Time Pilot. Gonna do a quick video on VOR navigation. So this is specifically using two VORs to triangulate your position. Uh, you're gonna see this on the FAA written exam for private pilots. You're also going to use this in your loss procedures. Uh, VORs are a great tool to know how to use. Uh, if your GPS signal is lost, VORs can save you. So you gotta know how to use your VORs. One way in which they can save you is during a loss procedure, as I mentioned. Uh, so you're lost. You find uh, use two nearby VORs, uh, and then you dial in both radials. And where they cross, that is uh, you're triangulating your position. So where they cross is where your aircraft is located. So let's do an example of something you'll see on the FAA written exam. Uh, so it says refer to figure FAA. FAA figure 23, what is the approximate position of the aircraft if the VOR receivers indicate the 320 radial of the Savannah Vortec, Area 3, and the 191 radial of Allendale, VOR, Area 1? So basically, you're flying around, and Savannah Vortec is nearby, Allendale, VOR, is nearby, and when you dial your Savannah into, the, so on Nav Radio 1, you dial into Savannah Vortec, and Nav Radio 2, you dial into Allendale, and then you center the needle, right? And when you center the needle, it center for Savannah, it centers on 320. And when you center it for Allendale, it centers on 191. So how do you find your position uh, with that information? Uh, let's go to the chart and show you how. Okay, so here we have figure 23. We have Savannah Vortec right here, and we have Allendale VOR right here. I have it turned to the side so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find, it says the 320 degree radial of Savannah Vortec. So we look here on this dial for 320. So we see three here, three zero. Each one is five degrees. So five, 10, 15, 20. And you can see three, three kind of right here. So 320 is gonna be about right here. And then we draw a line from the center of the instrument, or sorry, of the station, out on that radial, just like that. And now we want to find the 191 degree radial on Allendale. So 191, we have 180 here. We have 185, 190 right there. So it's going to be right after this notch. And then we do the same thing. So we find the center and then draw outwards on the 191 radial. And then where these two cross right here is where the position of our aircraft is. And in this um, particular problem, I believe the FAA written, it gives us three options uh, of like identifiers around here of what our aircraft is by and Briggs Private right here, this airport, would be the closest sort of uh, checkpoint or identifier that we could identify from the air and tell us where we are on the chart. All right, so that's it. It's as simple as that. You just gotta draw two straight lines and make sure you have the right VOR stations and the right radials, and then you should be able to find your location. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, please hit the like button. And, uh, and then if you have any questions, please comment below. And as always, follow us on Instagram at part period time period pilot.